Canterbury team goes, uh, Coach was mentioning a lot of different roles for players last season. Now that you guys kind of, a lot of you players have a year under your belt, um, what is it about this team that's going to make you guys more successful this season than last? I feel like we have a lot of different aspects coming to the team. Everybody brings a different positivity, and so not one player has all the different pos positions. It's everybody kind of brings different awesome skills. So, When you guys roll out the basketballs on Monday for practice, what's focus number one? What's priority number one for you guys? Get in shape. Definitely. We're, we're going to do a lot of running, uh, probably ball handling, and just getting back into the rhythm of uh, just the game of basketball and layups, simple stuff mainly. Yeah. Do, you, do you feel like you guys are ahead of where you were at this point last year based on the fact that you've got some more experience, uh, Lily's got more experience, obviously Mason's got another year under her belt. You feel like you guys are kind of maybe steps ahead of where you were at this point last year? Yeah, definitely. We have a, a lot of different juniors this year too, so we're, we have a lot of experience to the team. Uh, all of us were here when Darby was here, so um, there are seven juniors, so we'll definitely have more experience this year than we did last year. Um, I definitely think we have a lot of girls who are ready to step up and take bigger roles on the team, especially a lot of junior girls who didn't get as much playing time last year. Um, we're definitely going to be better ball handlers this year and just uh, a more well-rounded team. When you guys roll out the balls on Monday, what is the focus for you guys in practice from day one? I think we're going to really focus on moving the ball well and quickly and getting up and down the court and just focusing on our defense just all around. I think there are little things we all need to improve on to make it work this year. What was the key to improving from game one to the final game last season for you guys? What was like the, the, the really big thing that uh, you guys learned, I guess, during that process that's going to allow you to thrive this year? Um, I think at that point we realized a lot of us needed to step up and take bigger roles on the team and that Mason couldn't do everything by herself as much as we wanted her to. So I think that made a huge difference. We all realized we needed to shoot more and rebound better and play better defense and just do all the little things. What do you take away from last season that these girls can use and apply to this season to take the, the program even a step further than what you did last year? Experience. Uh, we had a lot of young kids last year, uh, a lot of kids that had new roles last year and I think it took them a while to understand what their roles needed to be for us to be successful so that was kind of a progression all year that we you know talked worked on that every day in practice just getting them a little more comfortable uh, I think a lot of those girls were not comfortable handling the basketball uh, and that kind of put Van Houten out there on an island on her own at times uh, from what I've seen over the summer these girls have stepped up they played pretty well this summer. I think they're starting to get that confidence. So I'm hoping that's going to transition into more wins. Where where are you in terms of personnel? Did Alexa, is she graduated? Alexa Habig graduated, okay. yeah. Okay, so where are you in terms of, obviously you have Mason coming back. Where are you in terms of personnel relative to last season? Uh, Mason will probably be our only returning senior. So we'll still be relatively young. Uh, we got a big junior class. Uh, last year we started Elena Rongo. She was a freshman last year. Uh, she's gotten a little bigger, a little stronger this year. Uh, Sydney Hearn, she was a sophomore who started last year. Uh, played JV the year before. I think she's starting to understand her role better. Uh, Lily Peters, who was a sophomore. I mean, Lily's, even though she was on the state team that went to state two years ago, she's still relatively young. Mm -hmm. But again, like her role changed, you know. She kind of on that team was just stand out there, catch and shoot. Well, now, you know, we need her to get more involved in the game. And uh, she's adjusting that well. When you guys roll out the balls on Monday, what is priority number one for Canterbury? Uh, one of the things we talked about last year that we knew we definitely had to get better at was defense. And I think that's probably going to be something day one we're going to get out there right away and just get after things defensively and just get up and down the court. I appreciate it.